A history of cancer in the family, multiple relatives uh, with high blood pressure, diabetes, increased risk of rapid aging or even skin cancer because we're growing up in the desert. It's easy to think that our health and some of the problems are predestined, but more and more experts are saying no you can make a change. Our health is within our control, even if you have quote unquote dirty genes. So what are dirty genes? Uh, we have got the man who wrote the book, Dr. Ben Lynch, joining us this morning uh, to talk about dirty genes and what we can be doing to kind of empower ourselves and make these genes work for us. Because it's true, not all of us inherit the, the best yeah. health picture, right? No, no, not at all. So dirty genes is, is, is a simple concept. We're all born with genes okay. and our genes can be functioning really well mm -hmm. because genes have jobs to do. We're, you know, we all have jobs to do and our genes have jobs to do. And if we put extra burden on our genes, they're gonna be overworked and we're gonna get results like symptoms of high blood pressure, cancer, diabetes, and so on. So if we clean our genes, those problems go away. Okay, so how do we clean those dirty genes? By our decisions every single day. If you make a decision to eat well, go out in the sun, and not for too long, okay. and you know, enjoy great company, mm -hmm. your genes are gonna be doing a lot better mm -hmm. because they have jobs and they can be providing the nutrients they need. Mm -hmm. But on the flip side, if you stay out in the sun too long and you burn your skin, there's certain genes which will turn on to have to repair that. And if you don't have the nutrients those genes need mm -hmm. to repair it, you can get susceptible to skin cancer. Well, we hear a lot lately, and, and right now here in the Valley of the Sun, everybody's been dealing with extreme allergies mm. and how that kind of wears down your immune system. There are certain things that you're putting your body through, just in general, where you're, you're maybe too tired to fight off the more serious stuff later right. on, right? Yes, absolutely. And seasonal allergies, that's a, those, are, those genes are being overwhelmed with mm -hmm. pollen, mm -hmm. right? So the pollen comes in, you breathe it in, and then that pollen triggers the immune response, which triggers histamine, mm -hmm. so you take an antihistamine. Well, instead of having to take an antihistamine, know that it's a histamine issue, and there's genes which clean up histamine. Okay. And in the book, Dirty Genes, there's a whole chapter uh, in the specific gene called DAO, and its job is to get rid of histamine. So what about, we're thinking specifically about what we deal with here in Arizona. We're in the desert, we're always in the sun, it's hot. Mm. Um, what kind of toll does that take on the body and what would you recommend for us? Wow, you know, I, I foolishly wore a sport coat down here. <laughs> uh, so, Doctor, you should know better. Yes, yes, and so, but it's, it causes you to sweat. Yeah. And when you're out in the sun and you're sweating, your first instinct, oh, I need to drink water. And water's great. But water also needs to have electrolytes. Okay. We're a very electrical beings. Our cells communicate with actual electricity. And part of that fatigue that we experience is our electrical system. Mm -hmm. You charge your phone, right? Well, your body needs a charge. And so if you're just sweating out all those electrolytes, your battery goes down. Mm -hmm. So when you recharge with electrolytes without corn syrup mm -hmm. or food coloring, but actual sodium, potassium, magnesium, these things are phenomenal for, mm -hmm. for electrolytes and replenishing you that's the way to go and you'll feel a real boost. If someone feels like, oh gosh, you know, they've got this family history of just about everything, um, in addition to picking up your book, what's the first kind of change that we should be making? Well, the very first change I think people should be making is to try to simplify. Okay. I would really think a lot of us do too much and are getting sidetracked by phones or computers or mm -hmm. what have you all the time. So I would just say simplify because the more brain work that you do, the more input that you get, is the more work for your genes. So cut things out. Toxic people, say goodbye, mm -hmm. I'm no longer hanging out with you, mm -hmm. and find very supportive relationships. So I would just say, try to do less. I like that. I like yeah. the sound of that a lot. As a do doctor of naturopathic medicine, as we wrap up, a lot of these opportunities out there, people are going to wellness clinics, they're doing IV treatments, they're doing cryotherapy. Um, do you buy into some of the, the, the new habits that people who are very wellness oriented are, are taking on? Or is it worthwhile? Is that's, it? Yeah, that's a great question. And I, I, I do believe those things have great value, uh -huh. but you can't do those without doing the fundamentals. Okay. Don't think that you can walk into a cryo chamber or HBOT therapy or do an IV treatment and then go out and drink all night and stay <laughs> up and work hard and, and eat poorly. Okay. It, it's not going to work. you got to do the fundamentals. I mean, you look at top basketball teams out there in the world or any sportsman or sportswoman, and they're going to be practicing the fundamentals the most. Okay. And those special techniques, they will be applying in their life as well. well Dr. Lynch, it was nice talking to you. Thank you so much. We can get the book everywhere, I guess, right? Yes, absolutely everywhere. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Continued good health.